And so a few of these you're doing a lock off so you can have it happen in the same shot like this. Okay, great. This angle here that you're in right here is where there'll be no debris. Out that say, you know, 30, 40 degrees out this way is where everything's going. I might have to shorten it. How much slack does it have in it, guys? Yeah. That I'm riding off. Three beats. Arm, right, yeah. right, left, bam. Three, two, one. Oh. I think it did it, boys. I think it did. Something like that. That's when Hawks stand up. So he won't stand up until I'm happy with how the water goes. The water, we put plexiglass here to make sure the water comes this way. Do you have any very sensitive cables or equipment or anything like that, computers? Please be aware of that now and make your adjustments accordingly. So nobody sneaks in. Nobody behind the walls, and a clear path all the way through here. Does anyone have any questions? Ready? Three, two, one, go! My name is Mike Sanders and I'm the lead motion capture engineer. The idea of the, the whole system is that uh, at least two cameras need to see a marker on the performer's body to be able to triangulate where that marker is in 3D space. We have a mix of uh, visible red and infrared LEDs or light emitting diodes. They project light that bounces off the reflective markers on the performer's body. Most of our markers are pretty small, and that just maximizes the field of view of the camera. And, we've cut. and a lot of times what we see is the director will actually act out exactly what he wants, trying to get the actor to replicate it. And more times than not, we say, why didn't the director just put the suit on? And in this case, he knows the performance. He knows the emotion. So it just makes sense that he wore the suit. 
This is the tank bash. Let's let's get a prop for him to bash. <laughs> Let me just try one more. Oh, I'm gonna raise. <laughs> this, this is probably it. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> we get paid to do this. This is the best. Hang in there. Hang's working for us.